Good morning, Metrolina. This is Maddie Reed. And this is Caitlin Reed. And we're with your WMCA newscast. Today's January 28, 2016. Fun fact of the day 7% of the potatoes farmed in the U.S. are turned into McDonald's fries. That's disgusting. Don't eat at McDonald's. Now, here's Landon with some more upcoming announcements. Thanks, Caitlin and Maddie. Listen up, middle school students. I have a few announcements just for you. The Regional Geography Bee for qualifying middle school students will be held in Willsboro, North Carolina on the 29th of January. The next middle school spelling bee will be February 5th. Middle schoolers, get your friends and family to start quizzing you now. We decided to see who really knows how to spell some, so we asked some middle school students and high school students and a few teachers to spell some words for us. Let's check it out. Please spell the word audience. A D U I N C E. A U D I E N C E. Audience. Please spell the word nuclear. Nuclear. N U C K U L E. Nuclear. N U C L E A R. Please spell the word astronaut. A S T R O U N T. A-S-T-R-O-N-A-U-T Can you spell hippopotamus? H-I-P-P-O-S-S H-I-P-P-R-A-U-T-U-S can you spell platinum? Platinum. <laughs> P L A T I U M. Platinum. P L A T I N U M. Can you spell gravitational? Gravitational. G R A T A T I O N A O. Gravitational. G R A V I T A T I O N A L. G R A V I T A T I O N A L. Railways, right? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I forgot. Can you spell Mississippi? M I S S I S S I P P I. Can you spell Mississippi? M I S S I S S I S S I. How many S's was that? In my cricket letter, cricket letter I, cricket letter, cricket letter I. That pump, that guy. <laughs> Not too bad. Good luck, middle school students participating in the annual spelling bee. Math Olympics practice will be for six to eighth graders. Will be in Mrs. Sadler's room on Friday, January 29th at 7:30 a.m. Now here's Donnie with a list of upcoming home games. Thanks, Landon. Howdy, everybody. Our middle school boys and girls basketball teams have home games this Friday the 28th against Gaston Christian starting at 3.30. Our varsity wrestling team has a tournament on Saturday the 30th at Providence Day School starting at 8. There are no home games next Monday and Tuesday, but you can still support your Warriors at away games. A full list of the sports schedules can be found on our website. Now here's Mr. Ashlock's class with your weekly devotion. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith, but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? All right, let's pray. Dear God, I pray that you would just watch over us throughout the day today, and that you'll just help us honor you in everything we do. In your great heavenly name, amen. Did you ask me the other day? Oh my God. Oh my God. He was like, he gave us so much homework. It was like, what the heck? What are you talking about? Oh my about? God, what, what is that smell? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to read from Isaiah 29, 13, and 14. And the Lord said, Because this people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by men. Therefore, behold, I will again do wonderful things with this people, and a wonderful and wonder upon wonder. And the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. So this verse is pretty much talking about how a lot of people say they um 
believe in Jesus and are Christians, but they don't actually live it out in their daily life. And um, in James, it says that genuine faith demands action. While it is by faith that we're saved, um, it begs, if you're not actually living out your faith, it begs the question if you are saved, because even the demons believe in God. And if we're ignoring God's commands, then our faith really doesn't mean anything. Thank you, Mr. Ashlock's class, for that devotion. We really do appreciate each Bible class and their time and effort that they put into creating a devotion for each week's newscast. Now, listen up, juniors and seniors. A Midnight Masquerade prom. Your tickets will go on sale this Monday through March 25th. You can purchase and pay for your tickets through RenWeb. The event will be at the Bottle Factory in Monroe from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. And if you want to bring a date from outside of MCA, you must fill out a date form. You can pick one up from me before or after school. The forms are due two weeks prior to the event. Students who do not attend MCA must be 16 years old to attend. All females attending the event will receive information from Ms. Lockridge and Ms. Edwards about the dress code. If you have any questions, stop by before or after school or you can email me with your questions at michelle.ferguson at fbcit.org. I look forward to a great evening and now back to Caitlin and Maddie at the desk. Thank you, Ms. Ferguson. Don't forget, if you're planning to go on the Guatemala trip this summer, there is a meeting during homeroom this week. You will be meeting in Ms. Summy's room. Campus United is meeting January 29th. Remember that CU is only meeting once a month from now on, so don't miss your opportunity. The speaker will be someone really great, so I hope you guys are there. Next week's chapel speaker is Dean of Academics and Athletic Director, Mr. Plyler. Encouragement Week is coming up on the week of February 8th. Start thinking of cool ways to show your appreciation. Also, remember that Chick-fil-A night is the 28th. Senior trip is coming up on February 29th. Seniors, make sure you get your packing list started. That is all the announcements we have for you this week. Now here's your slice of advice. This is our slice of advice. Be nice.